What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But in today's video, we are going to talk about the infamous specialization revamp and how it will never come to be. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, talk about it, shall we? Now, this story starts back in October, well, actually, even before that, in mid to early 2021, where the developers were talking about making changes to the specializations that could make them more viable for, you know, the player base. Now, with those rumors and rumblings, we did eventually get a intelligence annex from Trick Dempsey. Now, if anyone remembers Trick Dempsey, um, Trick was a senior game designer for The Division 2, um, doing things like, you know, um, league events, seasonal activities, backpack trophies, patches, the whole nine yards, um, doing manhunt things, everything under the sun. And... Um, as soon as Trick departed, it seems that this idea pretty much departed um, as well. Meaning, whenever this topic got brought up to the quote-unquote new dev team, uh, they kind of snicker, they laugh, they, they kind of push this idea to the side. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that old idea, that old myth. You know, something like that. And it's been to the point where it's so publicly known that they don't quite agree with the uh, with the take on the specialization revamp. But they, they have also said publicly that it just was never going to work. Not only has this been said from Yannick, the creative director, but also Morton Ryberg, the product director, and now Paul A. Hofstein the art producer for the game. So all three of these very high up, you know, positions, they have all three stated how the specialization revamps were a little more difficult than they thought and that, you know, implementing such a huge change to the entire game um, is a uh, far greater, you know, project for them to take on. And they felt that, you know, using that time in you know, uh, labor hours, they could put that into something else. Um, rightfully so, but there's still a lot of people that are hopeful, right? And earlier, uh, what was it, last month, I believe, I made a video and I showcased how Morton Ryberg uh, basically dismissed the entire premise of the specialization revamp in the latest special report with Daria and then with the uh, latest tweet um, from Paul A. Hofstein, it just uh, further cements the idea that the specialization revamps are not going to come to the live game at all, especially the way it was presented to us in that intelligence annex. Now, in a previous video, I did... Um, read the entire intelligence annex. Now I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to break off. I'll give you a very short summary of the intelligence annex. Then I'll show you what Morton said. I'll show you what Paul A said, and then I'll finish up with my thoughts. But if anyone out there is thinking or, you know, was hoping that the specialization revamp was going to come to be, it's just not sad to say. Now, there were a lot of factors at play that would make things a little more overpowered here or there. And remember that, you know, the developers were also trying to re-implement the special, you know, weapons, the specialization weapons into the dark zone. And the PvP community was not having that at all uh, right out the gate. Um, so it seems that... Because of all of these uh, different problems that they are facing with the specialization revamp, they have chosen to shelve that idea and move on to the next. You know, whether it be 
uh, the new Descent game mode, whether it be the new PvP changes, the new XP revamp that they've been talking about, what have you. Um, they will be working on that and no more specialization revamp. But let's uh, let's go over this one last time and then uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next. Again, this is not surprising to me. I made a video about this a few weeks ago, um, but the latest tweets from Paul A. Hofstein just kind of cement it into place. But without further ado, let's go uh, jump over to that. So uh, yeah, let's jump over to the Twitterverse. Biaw! Oh, righty then. Now we are in the world of Twitter. And this is the tweet that I'm going to reference. Now, this is back in October of 2021. And like I said, this was all, you know, created by Trick Dempsey, the former senior game designer. But it says, curious about what we have going on to improve specializations. One of the key aspects of the game, discover a new installment of our Intelligence Annex series where we give you insights on the future of the Division 2. And then you click on this sucker and you can read this entire thing. Um, it's quite uh, it's quite the read. It was very interesting. Their, you know, their ways that they were going to go about this. Um, not only sharing like the um, grenades, the skills, the weapon attachments and all of that with, you know, your entire character. But they were also making it to where if you specced really hard into, like, say, your armor kit, that you would be able to get, like, a instant armor kit. Now, like I said, all of this is now, you know, in, in the past. None of this is going to uh, make its way into the game. But it is an interesting read, nevertheless, if you just want to know what these developers are referencing this is it right here. It is still on the Ubisoft, you know, website. All right. So this is what was originally announced for the specializations. Now let's talk about the quote unquote new dev team. We're going to talk uh, or we're going to show you what Morton, how he reacts to the specialization talk in the latest special report. And then we're going to finish up with Pauly's new tweets about this subject. So let's go ahead and jump over to Morton. All right. So this is from the special report regarding season 11 reign of fire. Now this is from the division's Twitch page. Now they said they're also going to be, you know, opening up a YouTube page, but we'll see how that goes. But this was on uh, their special report last month. And here is Morton Ryberg. He is sitting on the left side of your screen. And he is the product director for The Division 2. And this is his live reaction to the specialization revamp questions. Here we go. It's, it's feel good to, to, to tell you, the players, that you know we know about it and we're going to do something about it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Moving on, uh, obviously, I'm maybe maybe trying to kind of foresee the questions that we're going to see in the chat later today, but Here we go. I'm just 100% sure that people are going to ask about the spec revamp because there's been yeah. no updates <coughs> for quite some time. And Yeah, I, I guess the, the article from, from way back in the fall of, what was it, 21, uh, is still biting us a bit. Um, we're not going to move into details on, on year five. Um, so we, we ask you to wait a little longer on that kind of detail. Um, so for now, uh, we don't have information to share. Um, but uh, in our year five uh, update, uh, we'll get in on uh, on all things year five and, and how we're going to change the game. And I, I assume that for year five, um, as soon as we're done with the season 11 release, we'll probably update the roadmap to let everyone know what are our future plans. Yeah, are. we have uh, we have some, some good plans for... All right. Now, the reason I'm stopping it there is because the developers are now going to talk about year five and all that stuff. But to catch what they were saying and more, here is their Twitch page. So it's the division game. And then the very first one that pops up, you'll see special report. And this is exactly where, you know, I'm pulling that 
information from the developers. So now we know um, what Trick was initially trying to do with the specialization revamp, what Morton Ryberg said currently their plans for or no plans for the specialization revamp heading into season 11 or year five. And now let's jump over to Twitter and uh, see what Pale had to say. Here we go. All right. So back in the Twitter verse, here is the direct uh, tweet that everyone is talking about. So it was asked, uh, when is the specialization revamp coming? Is this still in the works? And Paul A, if you see right over here, Paul A is a producer at Ubisoft Massive. And he says this, hey, this was brought up in the last stream. He's referencing what I just showed you from Morton. He said, nothing imminent. Uh, ultimately, we weren't too happy with the design and decided to look at other ways to accomplish what this is set out to do. Okay, so this kind of uh, just officially announced that the specialization revamp is not going to come to the game at all and that they are looking at other ways to accomplish what they wanted to do with that specialization revamp. So whether that be with, you know, um, doing more build diversity, making things more uh, universal with different builds, making the specializations more, uh, I don't know, vital with your build making, things like that, um, I'm guessing is what they were trying to, uh, you know, be set out to do. But ultimately, they did not like the design, and they're moving on. So this is basically one of those, you know, like in like movie, in in the movie business, you'd hear like, oh, this director walked away from this movie because of creative differences, right? <laughs> this is essentially the exact same thing. We weren't too happy with the design, so we're going to, you know, do, do a, a different thing. This is... We're not going to do the specialization revamp because of creative differences between the older developers that were making this, you know, system and then the quote unquote new developers that have taken over the game and decided not to go along with it. Now, there's actually another uh, set of tweets that I wanted to uh, to talk about. And this is also on my uh, Twitter page at Kamikaze Von Doom. Now, what I wanted to show you was this one right here. Uh, this was from April 8th, right? And uh, that's, what, two days ago. And, yep, it's a selfie of Paul A. Hofstein, the, uh, the producer over there at Massive. And it says, the selfie of a man who feels like the last person who actually gives a shit. <laughs> And and uh, just from face value, yeah, pun intended, face value, um, you'd be like, oh, well, you know, that really doesn't carry any significance. And then, I hope it wasn't deleted, but, but then he posted another thing right under, yeah, it was deleted, uh, talking about how someone from work is going to get him in trouble as soon as they see that tweet. I mean, it's just gold over here. Um, now, if you want uh, this news and more, anything regarding the Division universe, just follow me here on Twitter at Kamikaze Von Doom, and I give you everything regarding the Division, Division 2, Heartland, and Resurgence, which, by the way, the Division Resurgence just tweeted out today, not even 30 minutes ago, and this is the first time in four months that they have tweeted out. Uh, they haven't said anything public in four months until just now. So, I mean, again, anything Division related, just follow me here on Twitter. We're making our way to 6,000 followers. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. But besides that, have a good day. I'll see you again uh, later on today with a build video. And, uh, yeah. Take care, everyone. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Peace.